I'm J.M. Queen, and we are here at the 2024 Frederick Douglass Day of Acknowledgement event in Chestertown, Maryland at Washington College. Today was jam-packed. We kicked today's ceremony off with, of course, the return of Nathan Richardson as Frederick Douglass. I'm here at uh, Frederick Douglass Remembrance Day at Washington College, uh, and uh, in celebration of, of Black History Month, uh, Although uh, it's a short month, I would certainly say that black history is American history. Uh, and that uh, if you're uh, considering my life in times of the 19th century, uh, any month of the year is appropriate uh, to, to talk about uh, the contributions of colored people to, to this country. And so we're just so very thankful that uh, Mr. Queen of the Brayside Warriors uh, sponsors this event each year. Uh, and uh, and not only that, the work they do uh, helps uh, young young people uh, in this county and, and surrounding counties uh, to become um, better. Uh, one of my mantras was, it is easier to build strong children than repair broken men and women. And so, the Hoya certainly amplified uh, that uh, that uh, sentiment. We had a wide array of spectacular entertainment and educational programming during the day. Some of the educational programming was a documentary, Becoming Frederick Douglass, and we also had in person on our live panel today, the co-director, Nicole London, who is an Emmy winning and Grammy nominated co-director of the film. She was also joined by Adam Goodhart, Angela Crenshaw, and of course, Frederick Douglass. I love coming to events like this because it's so important, um, not just during Black History Month, but um, taking that time to really understand and acknowledge the contributions that a figure like Frederick Douglass has made to American history, and especially to Maryland history. It's so inspirational and it really is a lesson for all of us um, that you know, humble beginnings aren't limitations to what you can achieve. Today is a chance for Washington College to join in celebrating the incredible history and heritage of the community of which we're part. We're incredibly proud to be here on the eastern shore of Maryland um, in the homeland of Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman, as well as the place um, where the Bayside Boys make their home. And that partnership I know means a lot to the institution and it means a lot to me. When I think about how many students um, are entering school systems, even graduating from school systems, having received very little um, information, um, history about, about the month, about what it's celebrating, I, I understand that it's still necessary because it gives everyone an opportunity to learn more um, about the history, about the culture, about the people. I think that's going to be critical, um, really forever. I'm really glad about the ways in which the college has developed and has continued to develop a relationship with Bayside Hoyas and with John Queen in particular, um, and that partnership, giving our students an opportunity um, to engage with the community, to provide mentoring to um, students that are in the program, I think is really important. And, and, and I think it's reciprocal. Um, I think that Bayside Hoyas um, gives our students the opportunity to think about how they um, can exist and walk in the world and again and help other people so um, I think it's a mutual relationship that is um, developing and, and I hope will continue to develop in the future. Once again we have coming back as well for the second year in a row dancer Benta Owino. This is such an important event especially among the Eastern Shore. Um, it's not especially in the dance world on the Eastern Shore it's not as diverse so being able to spotlight me in this event in this county is just really amazing and special. But you know what time it is. It's the ceremonial part. Of course, I'm dressed for the occasion. Today, we will be celebrating African Americans who contribute and empower the African American community. We'll give out five awards to showcase the work done in Kent County Public Schools by the AAEE BB program that's achieving academic excellence and equity in education for black boys. We will give them awards to show them the dedication and appreciation for all their hard work. And then of course, you know what it is, the awards. We have three recipients this year. The first recipient, Clayton Washington out of Queen Anne's County. 
he will be getting a reward for all the stellar work he has done in that county. But also, we want to showcase black businesses, so Barry Sheldon Johnson will also be awarded of King County for Johnson's Concrete right here in King County. And then we'll end the night by awarding Air Lee Ringo her award as well for the Frederick Douglass Day of Acknowledgement. This has been a great event. We are gracious to be able to partner with Washington College and we hope to see you next year.